My vision really has always been that every person on earth should have access to the same healthy food. I grew up on a farm right outside of Washington, D.C., so I've always been involved in agriculture. We're a year-round food producer. For growing this kind of stuff, we're the largest year-round producer in the state of Wisconsin and maybe one of the largest in the Midwest, and we're a nonprofit. So we're able to grow throughout the winter inside these greenhouses without heat by using the compost piles as the heating source. This is a uh, worm depository where we're growing biomass of worms. These worms are kind of the lifeblood of our growing. On the one side, we've got 10,000 tilapia in there in, the, in warm water, and there's the heater that heats the water, that heats the entire greenhouse in the wintertime. And then we've got lake perch grown in cold water over here. When you can't commercially fish for them in Lake Michigan, that's mercury contaminated. We're able to grow these and these fish runs. One pump operates this entire system. We lift water up, gravity takes it uh, this way on both levels and it drops back into the system. So this is a very efficient way of growing food. This is ag of the future, ag of now, because we're doing it now, but ag of the future. In this greenhouse, so we're taking, say, 3,000 square feet and turning it into 4,500 square feet of growing space by using vertical growing. So that's gonna be very important in the future of how we uh, use this high valued space inside cities. And what we're talking about is knowing who your farmers are, knowing how your food is produced. We're engaging young people of all ages, from you know eight years old to 40 years old to really become these farmers of the future. Besides a food crisis, we have an absolute health crisis that strikes the people that have the less. The first place that people cut is food and their families because they gotta pay their mortgages, they gotta try to stay in their houses. So the first thing they do is cut food, which hurts people's health. Our market basket program is a program uh, of $16. You get a bag of food, 12 to 14 items, and that food is dropped into any community, any uh, food insecure communities for a family of four, you give them all the fruits and vegetables they need for a week. It really changed the dynamic of how people uh, access food, how people eat food, and, uh, and gets people back to cooking at home. I don't really think that we can build communities without healthy food systems. I, I just don't see how we can.